So what I've been working on for a while now, or wanting to achieve, is I want to wake up in the morning and be like, bing, I can't wait to get out of bed. You know, I can't wait to face this day. You know, just as soon as I open my eyes to have positive thoughts. Because for so many years, as soon as I would open my eyes, I would have negative thoughts or not positive thoughts. That's because a lot of people wake up in a problem solving mode, but they're still focused upon the problem. When you wake up in a solution discovery mode, then it's an adventure. This picture will help you. This conversation is about you being the creator, the masterful creator of your own reality. And it's about you being vibrational consciousness in a physical world where as a creator you're turning thoughts into things that's the environment that you're playing in here you get to take the consciousness that is you and with the help of so many others around you you get to focus it in to life experience you're turning thoughts to things so follow the idea of vibrations becoming thoughts and thoughts becoming things just think about the evolution of all of that and then look for a moment at the physical world that has become in other words this stage has become this carpet has become this room has become these chairs have become this space has become this is a manifestation and all of us in it this is a manifestation too in fact in every moment manifestation 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 but what about enjoying the manifestation of a vibration garnering gathering enough momentum and me being enough in the receptive mode that the thought happens in my mind that thought happening in my mind is a manifestation too and because I rested and because I liked myself yesterday and because I meditated and because I look for positive aspects I prepared my environment for that manifestation. I got ready for the manifestation. I was ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. And when it happened, even though it hasn't played all the way out and everything's not all in place where everybody else can see it, I had a manifestation. I had a satisfying moment. What Esther's been doing lately, it's a game that she sort of cobbled together from a few different life experiences that have been adding to the satisfaction factor of her life in a big way and it has accomplished in her what you just said she opens her eyes and she thinks oh good here I go here I go here I go what she's begun doing is taking a project doesn't matter what it is her stack of papers right now these are the projects that she's been thinking about getting ready to load up her van and relocate back to San Antonio from Del Mar. So that means gathering up this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that. So on a sheet of paper, she's made several circles that have pieces of what this whole project is. In other words, the whole project is going to be getting in the van and heading that away. But before she can get in that van and head that away, there are several things that she wants to come together. Some of them are things that she wants to take care of where she is before she drives off into the sunset. Some of them are things that she actually wants to load in the van and take with her. A whole lot of things. And so she's written them out individually across these circles. That's just one project. Then another one is, well, there are several of them. That's just a good example. So then she looks at her sheet and she thinks do I feel inclined to do any of these right now and because it's not a great big project that she can't get her thoughts around but it's a series of little projects that are very easy for her to get her thoughts around she just picks her favorite one and if she feels inspired to do it she does it and what she's noticed has begun to happen is she calls it priming the pump but it gets some momentum going and it's like then the project the completed project which we are standing in the happy middle of is calling her so that she keeps feeling inspiration to move in the direction of this so it's just satisfaction 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 there's no feeling of incompletion there's no feeling of too much to do about it there's no feeling of overwhelmment it's just this feeling of momentum of being called to it and so what she's discovering is she has room for so many more things in her life experience all at once which makes her sound busier but she's not
because universal forces are taking care of most of the details of most of it so mostly what she's doing is witnessing the unfolding of everything that needs to happen for everything that matters to her right now that's something to feel good about when you wake up in the morning it's like she can feel the cooperative universe all queued up and ready to inspire her to something that might feel good to her but the idea of doing it all is not resting heavily on her shoulders because it's not about action it's about being inspired to some aspect of it and what she's discovering is just thinking about it is like doing it contemplating is like getting it done because it's preparing the atmosphere Esther was sitting a week ago in a hotel following a seminar with a friend and her friend said did you know about curling and Esther didn't know about it she's been hearing about it but she didn't know what it was but it was on the television behind her and her friend was looking at it and Esther turned around and watched these women with their ice shavers <laughs> creating a path of least resistance for that thing she said, look, they're creating a path of least resistance for whatever that thing is. <laughs> that thing that had some momentum, they were smoothing it out, smoothing it out, smoothing it out so that that thing, whatever that thing was, could go. And Esther said, that's what my inner being does all day, every day. <laughs> Just out there smoothing the way. And the more I think about what I want, the more they get it all ready for me before I get there. So when I get there, it's just so easy. <laughs> Helpful? Yeah, I have one last thing. <clears throat> you kind of answered it when you were talking about you have all these projects or things to do and you won't be busy. You should, most people will be like, you're, you would seem busier, but you're not. Because what we're really talking about is balance. And when you are making it your responsibility to act, and you feel the limitations of time and space in your action then you can get out of balance but when you let it be an energetic thing and you find ways to allow yourself to let the energy flow so that the thought and the energy take on most of what you might call work then the action that you're inspired to is just the fun part and that's why when you wake up in the morning you're really excited to jump into the day because there's no struggle in a day like that there is great love here for you and as always, we stand stubbornly in your vortex. <laughs> I like it. I love this day. I love this day. Thank you so much. When we visit with you, no matter where you are in relationship to what you want, it is always delicious to us. Because we stand out here in your pointed, leading edgeness in this expanded universe as far forward as you have brought it. Now we can explore with humanity generally. We do that often. We step back and rest in the delicious general view of humanity and planet Earth and expansion and often we explore the deliciousness of this leading edge environment with you specifically with what you're thinking about right then we're there right then we're there and we're offering to you always our perspective of where you stand because you're not standing there without us you're standing there with us you're standing there with us knowing where you're standing and us knowing where you're going but us knowing where you're standing and we take our pleasure not from where you're going we take our pleasure from where you're standing can you feel it can you feel what we're talking about we're standing there with you in your moment of contemplation or in your moment of concern or in your moment of knowing what you don't want and we're standing there in total alignment with all that we are because we know that when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and we know what you do want when you know what you don't want when you're standing there in a focused moment and you know what you don't want we know what you do want and guess what we're focused upon 
We're focused upon what you do want and reveling in what you do want. And it doesn't have to manifest in order for us to feel the pleasure of it because we are vibration. We are all about vibration and you don't have to have the manifestation of it either in order to feel the exhilaration of it. And when the manifestation of it stops being necessary to you and is unnecessary to you, like it is unnecessary to us. Now you've created the perfect grid in the perfect moment. And now the manifestation must come because in this leading edge environment, all that is asked for is given. And when you allow it, it is revealed to you in that moment, you see. There's no reason for you to hold yourself off from anything you want, but there's no reason for you to want the culmination of everything you want either, because there's so much potential for satisfaction right where you are. If you would spend just a little bit of time over the next few days, just making lists of things that you appreciate from right where you stand, you would shore up a grid that would begin to fill in immediately. But if you do it because you want the grid to fill in rather than because you're appreciating, then you're not appreciating. Then you're trying to fill the grid in. And that's what goes wrong with so many deliberate creators. You're getting your cart before your horse. And what we've been talking about all day here today, in fact, recently is the vibrational basis, which is your point of attraction over which you have complete control. Do we want you to control it all day, every day? No. We love it when you get out of whack with who you are. <laughs> you know why? It makes you more pointedly want to get into alignment with who you are. And you would not be who you are. And therefore we would not be who we are. If you were not willing to get out of whack with who you are, you're leading edge pioneers. You're carving it out. You're exploring, you're weighing the pluses and the minus, the pros and the cons. You know what you don't want. You know what you do want. You're the focuser of the energy. You see, you just get us pointed in the direction of what you want. And we go all the way there and revel in it. And we hold steady to a vibration that can be the basis of your grid and is ultimately the basis of your grid. In other words, your vibrational grid is so solidly in that of well-being. That in the moment that you release from this physical time space reality, you will return to the well being of that grid. But oh, it is so much fun to be specifically focused with you in the specifics of your life while you are feeling good. We want you to never again feel uncomfortable about any negative emotion that you hold because your negative emotion only means one thing. You are temporarily not in alignment with all that you have become, but no harm comes from your negative emotion. The greatest harm that you could identify if you even wanted to use that word would be you are depriving yourself of the good feeling that would be there if you weren't doing that thing that is depriving you of the good feeling. But that's as far as it goes. There are not things that you are doing that are depriving you of the goodness of your grid. It's stable. It's sure it's true and it's eternal. And you are here in this physical experience with powerful intentions to explore with delight and amazement. You are here to create and be amazed at what you have created. That's what the joyous growth expansion experience is all about. And so if we were standing in your physical shoes and we had heard and felt what you've been hearing in these hours that we've been together, the way that we would approach our life in the days, hours and days that follow this moment is this. We would be looking for fun. We would be looking for love, which means we would be looking for things to appreciate, which is what love is. And we would be looking for th things to surprise and delight us, which is what fun is. And that's it. Somebody says, where are you going? Don't really know. Just looking for fun. Just looking for fun, just looking for fun from this basis of love. We've enjoyed this interaction more than words can explain. And we want to remind you that while we have offered a lot of words, most of the words that we offered here today were the same words. You're aware of that grid, 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 grid. <laughs> but along with the word grid, We've been offering your core 
grid vibration. And you are forever changed.